All right, guys, um, today's video, we're gonna talk about how I'm able to filter through the garbage on Fiverr to find gigs that actually work and, you know, do what is advertised and you just cut out the middleman because, you know, a lot of these um, marketplaces like Legit, um, fuck, I don't even know, Freelancer, uh, Upwork, so on and so forth, they just resell shit on Fiverr. So, um, yeah, here's how I do it. Um, but first, gotta get on the creatine. Yeah, gotta get on the creatine. Um, yeah, I think it'll be a good episode today. I'm pretty hyped about this. There's actually a lot of gems on Fiverr, like shit I use from time to time. Obviously, my the one I'm mo most vocal about is the citations one. Um, highly recommend it, but uh, here we go. All right, let's go. So yesterday we did 4.9K. It's down like a couple dollars from the day before. Mostly because uh, I think Mediavine went down slightly, but OnlyFans went up. <clears throat> so uh, Amazon 1776 went down slightly from the day before Mediavine at 1446. FanFuel Cell Health at 152. And OnlyFans at about 115. 55 so 1.5 k um decent day only fans tricking trickling up nicely but uh let's take a look at the granular numbers from amazon all right yesterday order revenue 32.9 k pretty much 33 k multiply multiplied that by 54 to get estimated earnings and uh yesterday 1.7 k in commissions um Actually, this this is kind of weird. The clicks have been all over the place. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I think I'm getting a lot of spam clicks, but it is what it is. Not going to complain about it. Levanta yesterday, I think it says 70, but seems a bit too low um, because our traffic is actually trickling up, not down. Um, I think probably um, might be misreported, but I'll, <clears throat> I'll remember it for tomorrow's episode. But we'll also we'll keep you guys posted, of course. All right, guys, if you want access to the sheet, sign up for the first link in the description to get access to this. Um, yeah, just want to talk about how I find gems from Fiverr. Right, if you guys um, appreciate episodes like this, comment Fiverr for the YouTube algorithm. Helps a lot. Um, but yeah, anyways, I think a couple of things to note ahead of time. <clears throat> Fiverr is a cheap place to find pretty you know uh dirty links so you have to know exactly what you're doing and stop sending it directly to your money site it's not beneficial <clears throat> in fact it's probably negative so um most of the time what i use fiber gigs for is for tiering for pbns for citations uh comment links etc etc just remember you have to know what you're doing all right um also note that Fiverr takes 20% cut um, from the sellers. So it'll be slightly elevated, but it's so accessible to the world. And uh, the amount of eyeballs in Fiverr is just so great that the sellers are willing to take a hit. But um, yeah, anyways, so here's here's how I filter through garbage on Fiverr. You always, uh, so initially, you know, if you're looking on citations, you go here, you're like, oh, okay. Uh, what should I buy today? I'm like getting overwhelmed. Who the hell is, uh, you know, this is an ad. They're all filled with ads. <clears throat> the best way to sort is always 100% by best selling. All right. You start off by best selling because it removes ads and then you go from there. Um, because then you know what people are reselling on other platforms. For example, uh, legit, the guy that I ordered for you guys actually just uses most likely is just reselling the person I bought on Fiverr. You can, you can just go in and tell <clears throat> next up. I literally set, you can set, um, starting price at $5 because, um, there's like lower tiers and you can just order that for, as a sample, but you should also always ask for samples as well. Uh, because just so you know what you're getting, 
um, if it's not clear in the gig. So if you guys remember, a couple days ago, I ordered this gig. $5 and you get 6,000 map citations. And from this guy, I got 300 citations. So like, come on now, it's, it's, this one is just so much better, right? If, if it works, right? If, if this, whatever that circle thing that um, I purchased works, then why would you go for less? If you know what I mean, the quality looks exactly the same. Um, anyways, uh, another, a couple other things I buy on Fiverr, I mentioned before PBNs <clears throat> and uh, I use it for GSA tierings and comment blog comments. All right, let's talk about that. So if you go into Fiverr and you try to search PBNs, you won't be able to find anything because, and if you want to search like GSC, GSA backlinks, you also won't find anything. Let me just show you guys PBN backlinks. It literally just filters you as you can, I don't know if you guys can see this filters you into the off page SEO, um, like category page. And then they just show you a bunch of random shit. Uh, sure, you can sort by best selling to see what's like working, but like for example, you can tell <clears throat> best selling gig is freaking uh, dr boosting, pre jokes. Um, but I did find a couple like gems from here. So if you just sort by best selling, you can tell how people are wording it. I will create fifty do follow permanent backlinks <clears throat> for five dollars. What does that mean? Bro, this is a PBN, all right. So 20 PBNs for $5, that's a smash. Get that shit, all right? Um, because as I mentioned before, you can use PBNs as like citations. So you just do unlinked mentions and you message the person and be like, hey, can you embed this after every post? And then each post needs to be about real estate if you're in the real estate niche, you know, so on and so forth, HVAC. Um, what else was there? Um, contextual backlinks most likely just means GSA. So if I just search... Uh, do follow backlinks. You'll find either comment blog comments, as you can see here, I sort by best selling 500 blog comments for $5. That's pretty good. Remember if citations work in local, which it does, by the way, quick hint, it does then in, in theory, I I've never done this before. Kind of spammy, but in theory, blog comments should work. If you did like name, address, phone number, website, unlinked website, um, it should work right in theory, if you have a uh, nap consistency and you can use blog comments as a way for, um, nap consistency. It's, it's a great way to do it. And if you just search contextual backlinks <clears throat> and sort by best selling, you'll find like these really high numbers, like a 15 K contextual backlinks. Any time you get to the higher numbers, it's all uh, automatically created. So you can just assume it's GSA. What, what is GSA? It's just like fucking some dirty ass backlinks that they find in the corner, deep corners of the internet. Um, for example, Daniel here, I tried to find, uh, try to ask for a sample. He wouldn't give it. I might just order it for you guys. Um, so what it does is, okay, so 500 contextual tier one backlinks, 5,000 tier two backlinks. So the 500 is going to be like GSA, which is most likely some comment spam. But if you use the, what he suggests as tier one here as a tier two, it, it'll, it'll work quite well. Um, especially if you hit the, uh, hit citations with that. Um, I'm most likely gonna like shoot way over someone over people in this episode because I'm speaking quite technically, but I think the people who do understand SEO will get value from it. Um, I don't know what I don't know. So if you guys have questions about today's episode, please drop them in the comment section below. I hope this helps. Um, to summarize, always ask for samples, sort by best selling. Ask, um, I would start off with the ones that are $5 and then move up from there. And my favorite gigs are PBNs, GSA, which are quote unquote contextual backlinks and blog comments, which are also contextual backlinks. Um, things to search in Fiverr would be um, do follow backlinks, blog comments, citations, and, uh, contextual backlinks. I'm not sure if I mentioned that anyway, already, but, um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to spend the next couple of minutes answering your questions now. Um, yeah, I think there's only 10 comments on the live. Most people don't comment on the live videos, which is fine because, uh, 
what happens is the live chat is shown, so people just they don't comment, but it's fine. <clears throat> SEO live for the algo. Happy travels, man. I appreciate it. Great content for listening and catching up uh, and catch up a catch lot of great tips. Thank you. Jackie, thank you. In one of your videos, you said that interior design is good niche. Is it good for rank and rent or general SEO services? I heard that interior designers are difficult to deal with and, and to please. You're probably right. Um, you just, uh, I did interior design like directories in the past and that was okay. Um, maybe try that out. Uh, I haven't, done much selling in the rank and rents nowadays. Uh, most of the time what I do is I just ask you guys, for example, to bring, uh, bring your physical businesses to me and then I just build rank and rents from there. Um, yeah. Based on your experience, if you have an idea for a SaaS or app, how do you recommend hiring programmers to do it? What And what they steal the idea and deal with them in general. I have no coding experience. Thank you. Um, that is okay. I'm a, I'm gonna help you out right now. You don't have to worry about people stealing your ideas. Your ideas are worth zero. It doesn't even matter if you have the best ideas in the world. It's worth nothing. All right. Um, execution plus marketing is probably the most important things. Uh, for example, um, uh, revive. There, the amounts of amount of iterations from launch till now that uh, like Christian and I had to push uh, push through is crazy. Um, from the first state to now, we had to change so much UX, UI, uh, functionality, so on and so forth. Um, so I guess to answer your question, how do I hire programmers to do it? Make them a co-founder. Uh, number two, what do you even bring to the table? Um, if you bring nothing, then you have to pay them a flat hourly. Uh, but like, for example, what I've been doing is partnering up with, uh, developers and creating, uh, SaaS businesses around it. And it's been working incredibly well because I have the just means of distribution and I know what I'd like to have because I'm like deep in the weeds of SEO, if that makes sense. Um, anyways. Dang it, I missed right when I had a question. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, April. Um, just launched a new site. I'm looking forward to the video tomorrow. Well, today when you see this, I'm, I will be ordering from you directly soon. I definitely need the backlinks. <clears throat> Is there a world where I'm able to resell you guys backlinks? Like, for example, you tell me what you need to do. Um, you guys tell me what you need to do. For example, I want to rank locally and I just resell you services, you know, like here's, um, because I think a lot of you guys might not know what, like the step-by-steps to do. Like I want to rank my, I don't know, junk removal business. Uh, here's what needs to be done. And I'll, I'll just buy their services on your behalf. And then I fucking mark up heavily and I just do it in a transparent way. Um, I don't know. Let's see. So fun, cool to hear your buddy is getting a lot of business from it. Yeah, dude, rank and rents work, <clears throat> especially if you freaking if you own the top five results, you don't just get the first click, you know, because you know how a CTR works, right? Um, for every query, there's like a standardized CTR, maybe like position one gets 30 percent, position two gets 15, so on and so forth. The sum of one, two, three and four is like nearly 100 percent. So, you know, when you check a trust for search volume and it's like 200 you're like ah oh, so low uh position one gets one percent of it you get one you nearly 100 percent of the 200 search volumes so it, it actually works really well um highly recommend you guys doing this um i think that's all the time i have for today guys uh if you guys have any other ideas for episodes by the way drop them inside this link last link in the home page of the reference sheet and uh just post about it and that's it, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember to com comment Fiverr for the YouTube algorithm and chat to you guys later.